Hi everyone, welcome. These two bins right here, the ones that we're going to be checking in on today that have red wigglers in them, are now. Hmm. Hey, hey Siri. How many days? How many days have passed since the tenth of April, please? It was two hundred seventy-eight days ago. Right. Okay, that's how I remembered it. Twelve days away from hitting three hundred days of age, and in the case of these bins, it was on day one ninety-nine that we. Uh, started into what I consider as this fed foraging, which means, you know, that's like almost 80 days now. We've been just feeding them, feeding them, but one thing we've not been doing is giving them any bedding. Letting them rely on the bedding that still resides in there as leftovers and scraps. Break that stuff down so we get really fine material in there. So I'm going to uh, give them another one of these fed foraging feedings today, possibly the last. And then, um, and then it'll probably be off to migration for them. And, you know, I forgot. We were going to upgrade them to bubble wrap top coverings. Forgot all about that. Those are the hand-me-down bubble wrap top coverings from the systems that just recently went into migration mode. So, well, let's get these systems up on the bench, take care of their fed foraging feeding, and whatever else they might need. Let's get to work. I guess my reason for thinking that bubble wrap is a little bit of an upgrade is because that... Um, when it rests in the bin with the bubbles facing down, in between each bubble there's that little air gap that, I don't know, maybe not much, but I would assume to some degree allows for a little tiny bit of airflow beneath itself. And, um, and I think that that's going to be a beneficial thing here. One thing that we've been um, dealing with in these systems relative to the other pair of bins that are very close in age and as you saw before are now already in the, in the migration mode is that those systems um, seemed like they had gotten to that fineness level where you no longer saw any of the um, minute residual debris that's just littering the material and this what we're seeing here these leaf stems they are just totally brittle you know I mean you could pretty much run them between your fingers for a moment or two and they'll probably turn to paste practically certainly not much left speaking of not much left we had a couple pieces of scrap paper resting out here on the top surface of both systems maybe the leftovers of a feeding zone indicator like a coffee filter or something and i think that right there might be the remains of it <laughs> that little tiny scrap of paper there oh maybe here too might might have one or two little leftover pieces but that's pretty much it as far as I could tell the um, the fed foraging feeding <laughs> my new way of kind of uh, treating systems as being in the home stretch and working their way towards completion is uh, it's like a new concept with the whole idea of the food coming in still while bedding is stopped um, I'm kind of res I, th I think I'm still kind of going to be reserving this concept of straight up pure foraging just in case I ever do decide that it's time to just leave a system entirely untouched truly uh foraging for everything including food looking for leftovers within the system I guess what I'm curious of here is whether what we were seeing on the surface, all the leaf stems that were floating around on the surface, were they um, only found on the surface? Maybe digging down would reveal material where leaf stems no longer survive and have been broken down neatly. Still seems to me like we've got a little bit of that remaining. And I guess, I guess it's kind of the measure that I've used for some time now is as far as the uh, kind of the fineness if you want to think of it that way I think last video too I kind of referred to it as the fineness of the material meaning um, minimal if any at all scraps of whatever in the material and then it's and then it's at that point you just decide hey this is what I'm looking for and I'm converting it now from being a, a bin of in-progress material to being actual stuff that's um, 
considered finished castings, but the only issue is that it's loaded with wormies. <laughs> and then usually, for me at least, migration follows, although there's many other ways that, well not many, but there's other ways to handle the, the evacuation of the material. All right, very nice, very nice. Definitely got a good moisture content to it. I think it is going to be a, a beneficial upgrade for the system to receive bubble wrap top coverings. I don't know if this is a chunk of corn. I don't want to press it too hard and break it into little bits. I'd rather it stay a full piece that I can maybe pull out at some point. If I decide it's migration time, I could throw that thing into the migration feeding zone and free the lovely castings of being littered with little this and that's like that but um but i'll tell you such nice material and i got a feeling these little leaf stems are not going to last much longer let's give the uh second bin over here a, a similar aeration bringing up all the material that's down low that's really damp to the surface where it might get a little air now that we're going to be using bubble wrap while we had plastic coverings, it was pretty much as if the system had a lid, you know, perhaps little wrinkles in the plastic bag would have allowed for a tiny bit of airflow around it. But for the most part, the systems had the opportunity to hang on to all of its moisture content throughout. And for me, it's usually a, a good sign out on the edges to find worms hanging out right there furthest away from the, where the feedings have been getting applied where the moisture usually is although in this system just like last time we just kind of sprinkled the food out on the surface so there's really kind of not been a, a dedicated feeding zone so to say the feeding zone has been kind of spread out across the top surface with the hopes that um, we're not causing worms to sort of huddle in a particular single spot, but rather they um, continue exploring the whole system and continue working on the fineness of the material. This is, I don't know what it is, some sort of a strand of something that just doesn't feel like something that's going to break down. This, however, just tore with a little bit of pressure under my fingers but there too I'd rather not break it any further than that so that if I decide to simply pull it out should we encounter it next time it's big enough to be found all right good deal let's let's just kind of do a um, carbon copy of the feeding we gave them last time what I'm sprinkling in here is coffee and I'm trying to remain just like last time away from the edge especially since these bubble wrap covers are not going to go right out to the edge. We are going to have some airflow and dryness happening to some degree around the edges, which is exactly what I'm trying to promote. Perhaps even allow a little airflow beneath itself under the under the bubble wrap. And, uh, and then these systems could start um, ditching some of this excess moisture. Because it does feel to me like it's excessive as far as moisture goes. At some point, I'm going to want these worms to be motivated to exit this material, to simply leave on their own accord, so any drying will help. It's part of the reason you don't even see any coverings on the uh, systems where we're migrating, because there, I definitely want the material to become less and less hospitable for worms to remain in, and further, you know, serve as further motivation for the worms to, uh, to leave. So you know what? I'm going to say this is homework. <laughs> I'll take care of making sure that those plastic coverings that we're retiring now in favor of the bubble wrap are worm free and that everyone is in the bin that they belong in. So that's it for the check-in everyone. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did as always please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go. That's always really appreciated. If you haven't done so already please also consider subscribing to the channel. That's very much appreciated as well. All right everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.